You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Those who can afford to buy insurance, um, but don't, can afford to do it, but don't, pay a fine. And if they refuse to pay a fine, there's a threat, uh, as there is with lots of tax uh, fines, uh, there's a threat of jail time. And the Senate removed that provision in the Senate Finance Committee. Do you think it's appropriate to have a threat of jail time for those who refuse to buy insurance? You know, what I think is appropriate is that in the same way that everybody has to get auto insurance, and if you don't, you're subject to some... ...penalty, that in this situation, if you have the ability to buy insurance, it's affordable, and you choose not to do so, forcing you and me and everybody else to subsidize you, Uh, you know, there's a thousand dollar hidden tax that families all across America are, uh, are burdened by because of the fact that uh, people don't have health insurance. Uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with a penalty. Now, what those penalties are, uh, I think they have to be high enough that people don't game the system. Uh, I wonder why. Let me say one thing about choice. There is no real choice. They say freedom of choice. You're given an illusion of choice. Americans are meant to feel free by the exercise of meaningless choices. You don't have, you know what the choices are in this country? Paper or plastic? A file or window? Smoking or non-smoking? Those are your real choices. You don't get to choose anything. It was your generation that... that